Ramses, thank you very much for the moderation. And actually, it's a closing session, and we're not going to take your time. But uh, I think in the name of the Common Action Forum, I really have to say thank you very much for being here for this uh, two marvelous days that you gave us. Uh, without you, uh, this forum uh, couldn't happen. And I think it was really marvelous because of you. Uh, perhaps, I mean, I, I would like probably to do some uh, few comments in terms of what we debated here uh, during these uh, two days. Mm, I was very uh, actually uh, glad to listen to some quotes uh, uh, Intisar said something about the Leos and uh, actually the revolutions in delusion terms, uh, they are molecular revolutions. Uh, and then we had some other people I really like, David Harvey and uh, so on. But I will just finish, uh, just be very short with something that I think resume uh, the essence of uh, what we saw here uh, during these two days. And it's another quotation about another philosopher, uh, Peter Sloterdijk. And uh, he tells us that perhaps right now uh, it's not time for making history anymore, but it's time for making nature. And uh, this is very deep if uh, we think the possibilities and uh, all the human actions uh, have in our uh, everyday life. Uh, so we probably are going into a new sort of reconciliation uh, between people, between uh, humans and between nature. What we're doing uh, now with our technology, with our information, uh, with our uh, new ways to be in contact with ourselves, but also to change not just what is outside of our bodies, but with, within our bodies itself. So we are doing a very deep changes and uh, it's not just a matter anymore for making history, but we are already making nature. Uh, so it means that we, uh, we want this Common Action Forum to be able to build new codes, cosmopolitan codes. This is the way we can talk to each other and this is the way uh, we will find the solutions for uh, the perverse side of global capitalism. And this strategy is not being localists, but it's to be even more global. But we have to define new frameworks and we have to find out the important elements and to give them the power to be more global than the problems. So we have global problems nowadays, we need global solutions. Uh, and I hope we will find out the way uh, to be connected and to work together for this. So global solutions uh, goes also, uh, go also into uh, individual solutions. And I think it's also a matter of uh, producing a new sort of subject, a new sort of individual, and actually an individual that's not individualistically orientated. Uh, we don't need to focus on success. Actually, nowadays success uh, means uh, success for one people and failure for many others. So we need to find out what really success and what really a good word should be and for everybody. Uh, and for this we need to change our minds and it's very hard because as, as we talk here, human beings rather talk that we, we have this instinct of being greedy sometimes and we have to fight against it. We have to find out uh, the ways. And I think the ways are quite easy because we are uh, social animals, actually, and we need sociability. So through this way and, sh and, th and through the contacts, we probably will find out the ways. And uh, being here, I think, is already one way to try it. So what else? I mean, thank you very much for you all. And uh, how couldn't I? say thank you also for our Common Action Forum team, all the people who are related to Common Action Forum. I mean, guys, you are really amazing. You are there in the back, you're always v invisible. But as another philosopher says, you know, uh, the invisibility actually builds the world. So we never know what happens. Uh, the, 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 the real powers are invisible. We are not aware of that. 
So thank you very much. Uh, you were not here on the stage, but uh, you were the people who really helped to, to make it. About invisibility, also our translators. Uh, we were just ch talking and chatting. Um, and they really did a good job because they were invisible. Nobody really mm, complained and realized that they were there translating everything and interpreting everything. I'm sorry, I think you'll prefer even the terminology of interpretation than translating. Uh, and finally, I would like to give the word to Wada Hanfar. And uh, without him, without his engagement, we would never be here. So please, Wada. Thank you, Rafael. You are the best in the world. <laughs> but uh, your excellences, your highnesses, and your eminence, of course, your eminence here goes to Mr. Imad Shaheen. Without doubt that what he spoke about today was interesting and beautiful and lovely and dynamic, although it was very cautious sometimes. And I can understand that. Someone who has been working in a democratic government and suddenly find himself you know, persecuted by uh, a junta regime, I think he must be cautious. But one of the things that actually he discussed, which was amazing and beautiful, maybe one day we have to, def to definitely have a, a, a real session about it, is the issue of identity and values. And uh, he was speaking about the universal values. And then he spoke about Islamic values. And he spoke that we, we don't have to have Islamic system, which I agree with, of course. In fact, sometimes, I think even we don't need to have Islamic values. If the values are universal, I think the Islamic values within the public sphere, in particular, are not necessary. What will be necessary is universal values infused by collective human will and goodness that we could, all of us, share. Because eventually, whatever we talk about within the public sphere should work for the common denominator of the public rather than for the identity, uh, uh, you know, ident serving the identity. The second element, which I found very amusing and lovely, is the concept of cosmopolitan. All of us sitting here around this table have, of course, some kind of cosmopolitan, you know, uh, inclination. But I find that the concept of cosmopolitan is, at this moment in time, is in fact the privileged club of the frequent flares, you know, kind of passengers who can travel across the world. And it is too much elitist, too much politically correct, too, too much as well uh, burdened by wisdom. And uh, maybe those who are going to lead change are a little bit more crazy, more dynamic, and more, uh, you know, less actually, they have less miles in their uh, frequent flares carts. So th th that needs, that means the following, the way forward for the Common Action Forum. I think there are two issues here during the last two days. The first one, generating practical and very well defined thoughts about change and about systems. And that means intellectual effort and work. And I invite everyone to be part of this, and hopefully we will lead, uh, uh, the, the Common Action Forum can arrange you know, certain defined scope sessions to define these kind of papers. But the second and the most important is actually advocacy. Once you have that defined, you need to spread the message, you need to convince people, and you need also to generate mass movement around it, across the world, universally. And in this case, I think we need another layer of action for the Common Action Forum. And I was discussing with some of our uh, volunteers yesterday and uh, those who have the younger generation who have joined us. And uh, I was thinking, can't we have also something similar to Common Action Forum that concentrate on generating thoughts and ideas whereby we have a youthful version of it that has much more you know, enthusiastic engagement uh, through 
much less expensive cosmopolitan version, which is in this case social networking and internet and so on and so forth, whereby we start finding hope within this universal system for the new generation to really change it without falling in the trap of rejection or chaos or anarchy. That might be something that Common Action Forum should consider. However, just to conclude, I would like to say I invite each and every one of you to be a member of Common Action Forum where we are going to have our network established across the world for certain areas in economics, politics, international politics, and in, uh, in social, uh, uh, in social uh, systems, plus any other circle that we might find useful, like climate, like the issues related as well to uh, women, and so on and so forth. All that is possible if we find networks to support that. I thank you very much. In fact, I enjoyed. I think this is one of the most beautiful forums that I have attended in my life. And simply for one reason, because I think the diversity within uh, the group that has gathered during the last two days well, this was important in many ways. And definitely, it has also inspired in us hope. And as I said always, hope is a word that is magical. And normally, it unlocks every potential in us, while despair is also something that belongs to dark you know, matter, maybe, that actually locks every potential in every human being. So I thank you very much. Thank you, Rafael, and for all the team of Common Action Forum, and of course for the people who have made this, the volunteers who have joined us and worked hard to do this. And I think that the spirit of Common Action Forum, Forum one day, not very far from now, is going to be this magnificent, beautiful spirit that could convert the potential that every one of us could see in the air, converted into a serious, real, global movement and alliance for change. Well, thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.